What the frick is going on here, you ask? Well, let me take you on a little adventure. Okay, so we got the uh, chain over the bucket scenario there, holding on to the tongue, locked to the tongue, and then just a safety chain up to the, the tree branch there in case something let go. And we got the hydraulic lock down here, so that won't drop down. And surprisingly, it's been up for a day and a half and it hasn't dropped itself at all, so that's good. But um, what's going on here? What is going on here? Well, I don't know if you guys remember a few or so video weeks back there um, seeing this trailer and it was always uh, right down. Oh, I don't even know if I can move it. But the box was sitting up about here, about here somewhere above the frame of the trailer. So um, what was going on there is this ram here when I replaced it because of the skinny little tiny one they had on before. It would only lift like half a load of dirt anymore. It just brrrr, and that was it, right? So I got the clever, bright, bright idea because I had the loader hydraulics on the tractor. So I just run uh, up and down through the black box up there. And then these hoses that come out here is your up and down, right? Well, the problem was where the plates for the bottom mount holes we're mounted for the other ram, not for this one. So, you can see they need to be back. Uh, let's see here. They need to be back quite a piece there, eh? Like down, down in here, and they were up here. So what had happened was uh, she was sitting sort of like that, but it left the box of the trailer up quite a bit there. Um, let me see if I can stop about there somewhere so you always had her kind of angled backwards right so I kind of took the initiative there to get her get her cranked up there and uh, ground off those two plates and uh, that pin there is a three-quarter three-quarter or one inch one inch I think and this is like an inch and a half or inch and a quarter or something bar there so that's one of the, the pins there so uh, I'm gonna have to re-weld those plates on back more back here somewhere and then mount her back in so she uh, hopefully will still lift the same because it'll end up sitting a bit uh, flatter like there somewhere right instead of down more where it was but I mean this is a four-inch bore, 20 inch stroke so I mean this thing puts out pretty friggin amazing pressure here so I mean before it would lift this trailer just spilling with dirt you know that's a four by eight and uh, I can just have that just right cranked full and just spilling over the sides you know over the front and everything and wouldn't even bother it so, uh, yeah, I guess tomorrow, if it's not uh, this frickin' 46 degrees they're calling for, like that's insane. I guess maybe, uh, that's a long way up. Maybe tomorrow morning I'll get down here and uh, get measuring up these plates and stuff and where I want to stick them, and uh, we'll get them glued back on. So, uh, I'm gonna open the door here and I'll uh, show you these plates. Yeah, so there's that big pin and those two plates I had to hollow out a bit to, to hold the pin, right? So, uh, see where the no paint is, where it was welded on before. It didn't do too bad. I just used my little uh, mini grinder, four inch mini grinder and ground the welds off and uh, then we cheached. So, these will end up going back on about there somewhere, down a bit more, right? So, I'm not 100% uh, positive exactly where yet, but uh, Somehow I'll have to get this rammed up in here and kind of hold it there while I get the plates all lined up and stuff. And holy frig, I'm gonna need like six hands tomorrow. So yeah, that's what we've been up to anyways today. And uh, it was sweltering hot, of course. So tomorrow's another day, and maybe I'll get started earlier. And uh, I hope I didn't bend my pin up there. 
pressure of that thing was bent out like freaking nothing. It looks like it's bent a bit, isn't it? Well, if it is, it is. We'll make a new one. So, yeah. Till tomorrow, tubes. Uh, talk to you later.